Hello everyone. So I'm going to try something different today and I'm not sure it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. This is going to be um, a Christmas tree silicone cake mold that I got on Amazon. It comes in a pack of two, um, pretty inexpensively, but they have shiny on the inside. That's one thing I always look for before I buy my silicone molds. Some have a dull finish and I like the shiny finish on mine. I'm going to attempt to do um, some stickers and some embellishments in this tree. All of these things I bought from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would be really fun to do a Petri effect behind it. I've already mixed up uh, 200 milliliters of resin and I am using uh, this Diamond Clarity from Naked Fusion. This tends to work really well for me and not yellow. So I like that. I use that and sometimes I use Better Boat. But today I'm using that one. So um, I am going to begin by pouring my resin. I've It's been sitting about, gosh, maybe 12, 13 minutes. I'm going to pour just a really thin layer so I can place my uh, stickers that I'm going to use for the tree and kind of get this spread out here. I don't want too much in there, but enough to cover the whole bottom. I know a lot of people use the um, butane lighters. They torch the bubbles out. I've always been afraid to do that. I'm always afraid I'm going to burn the side of my mold because I've seen that happen on some other YouTube videos where their mold has, um, gosh, they've, it's ruined, you know, they it um, melts to the side and then they have to throw the whole mold away because there's holes, holes in it. But I'm sure a lot of you probably have experimented with that. Let's see that. Let's see that. Okay, so let's see. I think there's not very much in there, maybe 16th of an inch, but hopefully it will be enough to put some little ornaments. I'm going to try to put the ornaments into those holes and let's see what happens. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. I know there was a problem last time. People said they couldn't hear me because I had my respirator mask on. This time, I still have a mask on, but it's just an N95 mask. Kind of squish them down once in a while. I don't really want a bunch of bubbles in front of it. Lobby. For now, I'm just going to stick that guy in there. The top, stick him down in there. See if he'll stay. There we go. Now, um, I really don't want it to get too, too covered in stuff. But I think instead of the Christmas lights, so much, since there's already so much color, I think I'm going to I'm going to try to go ahead and use these. And so I'm going to open it and uh, try to just cut it to the size of those lines that are there. See if I can do that. I was actually also thinking about doing a little, trying to make it look like a little bit of snow. I have more resin to use. I mixed up probably more than I needed for this first layer. But I'm going to I'm going to pour a little bit in one of my little easy bendable 
uh, silicone bowls. These also came from Amazon. But they're, they're great for when you want to squish it together and do some pouring. I don't know. We might have way too much going on here, but let's see. I'm going to try to add a little bit of this mirrored stuff in with... Uh, I got this on just one of the, I don't remember, I hate to say, but one of the glitter sites, you know. Yeah, I think it's called Mirror Me or something, but it's one of my favorites. It's so pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of Let's Resin Mica Powder to this little bowl. Just with a little uh, stick here. Craft stick or popsicle stick. Too much. Well, a little bit. It's not a very big bowl. Stir it up real quick. Okay, so my idea was to maybe take a tiny bit of this and drizzle it along those lines there. I'm not sure if it's thick enough. And maybe, you know, in the in the edges. Maybe I'll try it down here first and see. going to be all I'm going to do for that part. Uh, might drizzle just a tiny bit of clear resin over the over this bottom part down there because uh, I see that it's getting thicker but it's I see some of the stuff is sticking out. The, um, some of the lights are not even all the way covered so my mind this is doing okay this is um, kind of what I was thinking of and I'm excited to see if the next part will actually work out so okay I will um, come back in a couple of hours when this is at least partially cured doesn't need to be all the way but it needs to be a little bit better than it is now I'm gonna do one more time with the heat gun have it. So thank you. I will come back and check in with you a little bit later and we'll do the next step. Okay, so put my gloves back on. So I mixed up another bit of resin. Uh, last time I mixed up too much. So that was about uh, 200 milliliters or I don't know, maybe around six ounces. I think that's about the same, six ounces and 200, at least pretty close to that. Anyway, that was too much for my first layer. So I ended up using the rest of that resin on a different project. But, um, so this time I've got about 150 milliliters. And actually I'm afraid that that's not enough for this next part. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this and see how well it covers. This is actually a big area. And for my uh, Petri effect, oh yeah, I'm going to need probably about twice that much. So, I'm going to go and mix up some more. 
for this because I want it to be really nice and deep for, for that Petri effect. Because I'm hoping it'll kind of come through and give some like tree branch effect. And I never know. I have all kinds of ideas for resin. <laughs> and uh, this time I just thought, well, it'd be fun to try it with you guys and see if it turns out. So, okay. I'm going to run my heat gun over that really quick. I'm going to mix up this time probably about 200 more milliliters, maybe even 250. I don't know. I don't want this to be too thick, but I do want it to cover the base because I'm going to do some brown mica powder for that, for the stem or the trunk, I mean. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm going to uh, turn you off for now so you don't need to watch me mix the resin and I'll come back when it's all set and ready to go. Thank you. Okay, I've mixed up my resin, my uh, eight, eight more ounces of re resin, a little more than 250 milliliters. And uh, I think that should be plenty to get everything else done that I need to do here. So I'm gonna start by getting the trunk. Um, I'm gonna use some mica powder, this Let's Resin coffee colored. It's the only brown it looks like that I have. So I'm gonna try this and use this for the trunk and hope that it works okay. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit. I don't want it to come out into the rest of the tree. So hopefully it'll stay put. Okay. Anyway, there is that, and I think, better just see if I got any loose powder in there. I don't work with these mica powders very often this way. Usually I mix it into, the, into my um, resin. I don't usually brush it on, but I see a lot of people do it. It seems to work, but anyway, so I mixed up my resin, and it was sitting about probably six or seven minutes now. I like to, to let it sit for a little bit before I just um, pour it. So, let's see, things in there. So yeah, this is gonna make a nice, much better layer for, hopefully for what I'm gonna do with my Petri effect here. I don't wanna pour too deep, because we all, well, I don't know if we all know what happens when you do that, but uh, boy, I when I first started doing resin, first thing I did was pour a big cube. I put a fresh flower, which you don't do, but I didn't know that at the time, into about a three inch cube. And the smoke and the misshapes and the bubbles and everything that came out of that thing, I literally took the cube out into my backyard and threw it across the lawn because I didn't know if it was going to blow up or not. It scared the heck out of me. But anyway, so I always make sure I pour in layers so that doesn't happen again. Put my bubbles out here. Okay, so now I have chosen to use Pinata Rainforest Green for my green and then uh, the pinata blanco white for my um, for my petri effect, but it's gonna work. I do put my white into a smaller bottle. Anyway, wish me luck. Here we go. Hope this works. Get it all over. White. Hopefully, it can keep track of where I've been with it. Hoping I won't get the big white blobs. You know how sometimes the white on the alcohol ink will uh, just kind of go straight down into a big blob. 
doesn't really look like it's going to do that right now, but sometimes it's hard to tell. But that's why I wanted to add uh, that little bit of glittery snow looking stuff so that um, in case it did do that, that maybe it would just kind of blend in and look like snow. done maybe three um, layers of green and white, green and white, green and white. Maybe I'll do my What else do I have? Anything I wonder? But I do definitely see places in there that are just kind of hollow. sit and then I'll come back tomorrow. Actually I might come back a little bit later tonight and put a just a plain green back on this. Um, yeah I think I will. When this um, just thickens up a little I will come back and put a green a dark green background on it and then we'll let it sit and we'll see what happens. All right everyone I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, um, since I just let you go, I did decide to come in with my popsicle stick or my craft stick, and I just did a few little swirls um, to kind of give it a little bit of, um, I guess, some circular design, hopefully, and hopefully it'll give it a little bit more depth. So anyway, just wanted to let you know that's what I did, and we'll see how that turns out. All right, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Okay, we're back and everything is actually pretty cured. It's only been a few hours, but this is kind of a thicker resin, so it kind of cures a little quick. Um, but I want to put a background on this because we do have some clear areas uh, through here. So I do not want it um, just to be see-through. So I'm going to put a green... Uh, this is green Martha Stewart Peridot. Um, sorry <laughs> if you can see that. From uh, I got it either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I forget whichever one carries her her products there. So this is really pretty glitter. It's very sparkly. There's some gold in it. I'm gonna add it. I've made up. Um, some resin here and as I showed in my last video that I like to reuse my water bottles my um, just disposable water bottles and uh, we usually do recycle them but um, but for resin sometimes I recycle them by using them um, so I can just use them for something like this with glitter because glitter is so hard to get out of your mixing cups so uh, these are nice to use for this kind of thing because then you can just throw it away and you don't need to try to clean it out. I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls in there. See how that looks. Stir it up real quick. It's really pretty. Pretty thick consistency. And I see some purples and reds in there too. You don't really see it uh, when it's in the jar, but when it's in the resin, it kind of stands out. It's pretty. Get the sides and the bottom. Good. 
I'm going to be really anxious to see how this turns out tomorrow. I hope, really, really hope that it turns out like I had hoped. But we're going to pour this in, get this all covered up. I guess if it doesn't turn out very well, then at least this, this side will be pretty, huh? I love the glitter, but what I don't really like is the rough feeling, uh, the rough feeling part of the glitter after it's already cured. I like for a smooth top. So what I'll probably do, probably before I go to bed tonight, if this sets up here um, in the next couple hours, I will probably just put a clear very thin layer of um, just clear resin over the top of it uh, just like I said just only because I don't really like the feeling of the glitter I like to see it but I don't really like to feel it so I'm gonna do that and then otherwise tomorrow I will be back here to unmold this and we'll see what this experiment did if it actually is going to work out anyway I appreciate everybody for coming and I I uh, appreciate the support of all the people who have asked me to come back and do another video. Hopefully this won't disappoint. We'll see what happens. Have a good night all. See you tomorrow. Okay, good morning everyone. It is definitely all nice and hard and cured. And actually, since I have not done any resining for about a year, I'm a little nervous to see how this turns out, but I'm really hoping I got some of the effect that I'm hoping to get, but we'll see, huh? So thanks for bearing with me. I'm gonna see if I can get this unmolded without tearing. It's coming apart pretty easy. I haven't used this mold before. It's pretty flexible. I'll kind of make it. Let's see. There we go. Go back together. There. Okay. Wish me luck. Here it goes. Did it pay off? I don't know. It's a lot of resin if it didn't, but let's see. Oh my goodness sakes. Wow, actually, look, it kind of did work. See how the, like the Petri effect is in there? It looks like branches. And that's what I was trying to get. It does have a little bit more of a blue hue. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera than, than green, um, but that's okay. Maybe it's a blue spruce or a blue pine does have some green to it, but um, yeah, I actually kind of like this. I think that my ornaments could have been maybe pushed down, um, maybe a little deeper into the resin. Um, into the resin. I, I put those on kind of early, which it's okay, but now I know how I might do it different. But wow, I don't know if you can see the depth in there. It is actually really cool. So what I'm probably going to do with this is um, I'll either put a hanger on the back here or I might, um, actually what I was planning to do was to use a plate stand and just have it setting up. But I think this turned out really great. Wow, yeah, I'm actually pretty amazed with it because I had no idea this was going to work. Um, yeah, I think I might try another one and maybe, uh, like I said, maybe put the, put the, at least the Christmas lights down a bit further to kind of give it more of a 3D effect. But yeah, totally awesome. All right. Well, thanks everyone for bearing with me and, um, and hanging out with me while I tried this new project. Let me know what you think. Thank you. I will see you next time.